You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's some of you on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Echo Flynn's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Where are we at again? Right here? I think. Yes. Alright. I spent it more, some more on the other prongs leaning slightly towards specific points on the globe. It's kind of a weird dick-knack. There's not really anything in here that can help me with my project. With that, I turn and make my way back to the front office. Suddenly, a familiar lynx rounds the corner. Ch Chase? What are you doing here? He stops in his tracks, fidgeting with himself. The feline keeps rolling and unrolling the bottom of his shirt. I don't see any sign of Flynn there or Carl. Uh, hi, TJ. I was with Flynn and Carl. I'm scanning some stuff for my project. Oh. He frowns in acknowledgement, nodding. How did Carl's job interview go? His frown shifts to a tepid smile, awaiting my response. Not good. Just like that, it's gone. Oh. Well, there's a lot of work in Peyton. He'll snag one eventually, won't he, Chase? I fold my arms over my chest. I think he might need to get over some stuff before trying again, honestly. Anxiety, all that sort of junk. TJ nods. Weren't you going hiking? TJ glances to the side, seeming to eye, seeming to eye each open doorway with a sense of wariness. If Flynn texted me and said he wanted to talk... You know, about what happened at the lake? I blink. And you agreed? My voice comes out more surprised than I intended it to. Again, TJ nods. TJ, you don't have to... It's my decision, Chase. I want to help. I am... I sort of knew this was coming when I came back. And I know it hurts Flynn. Despite his words, TJ doesn't look remotely confident. The link shifting re restlessly. But I didn't know that you would be here, though. I don't know exactly how to respond to that, so I pull up my phone and tap away. Give the links an understanding nod. Sort of the Carl maneuver, I guess. Yep. Well, don't worry, TJ. It'll be okay, I think. You think? We're back. Carl got sick again. Puked all over the historic hanging tree. Carl offers a meek wave, which freezes when he sees TJ standing next to me. Quickly shoves both of his paws into his front pockets. Flynn notices TJ as well. He doesn't show any signs of nervousness. Jesus, is this really happening? He moves over to us and rests his behind on the back of his desk, his large tail wrapping around it. There's something about the sight that accentuates how damn huge he is, and I can't help but wonder if he's doing it on purpose. Carl remains motionless by the front door. We lock eyes for a moment, but our attention shifts as Flynn speaks. Thanks for, you know, showing up at j stuff. TJ, TJ says nothing, the link standing next to a small pot, which he keeps bouncing his foot against. I see Flynn's Adam Apple bob, the gila wetting his palate like his whole mouth has gone dry. Meanwhile, Carl looks like he's about to be sick again. Have a side Flynn. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, this is a choice. Okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh. Huh. What happens when you do either of these? Stand beside Flynn. Alright. I gingerly step over beside the large Gila. He raises a brow as I approach. What's the old saying? He may be an asshole, but he's my asshole. That might have been a more, more of a sexual connotation than I intended. Regardless, I told Flynn I wouldn't stop him when he finally did this. The question is now whether I can manage to keep my word or not. TJ, you can sit if you want. I don't want to sit, the Lynx responds quickly. Want some water or soda? Do you still drink soda or does that just give you too many hell points? I don't need anything to drink. Thank you, though. The feline remains on edge, guarded, seemingly readying himself for the Gila to explode like he did back at the river. Alright. So, I'll ask you again. What happened, TJ? For some reason, hearing those words again makes my heart lurch within my chest. Take a nail. Water time. Hmm. Alrighty. This is so fucked up. And, and I told you, I don't know. How the hell can you not know? You were there. Played back to me step by step. Flynn... I see the lizard's tail pull inward. Flynn himself is stone-faced, but he can't keep that thing still. I rest my paw on the small of his back, and Flynn's shoulders rise some. God, sensitive everywhere, isn't he? AJ notices us and shifts awkwardly. He looks toward the exit, his longing to be out of the situation pretty evident. All details. I don't care what you think is insignificant or not. AJ takes a deep breath. 
I... We were playing on the beach. I was building a sandcastle. There wasn't much sand, so I was using mud. Jenna helped. So Jenna was with you. And not the whole time. Sydney ran up and uh, did a wrestling move on it. You were behind Sydney. You laughed. I think Carl did, too. No. Carl's protest is barely audible. I'm starting to remember some of this. Carl was asleep, wasn't he? And Leo? He was finding skipping stones, I think. Leo wasn't there. Leo wasn't there. Leo's prepubescent voice fills my mind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. His language skills weren't great, so we just stumbled through a sobbed apology. I promise I'm protecting all of you from now on. Chase was. He looks over to me for a moment. Yes, he caught up with me after I ran off. Flint, you were there for this part. You remember all this. I remember Jenna coming up and yelling at me about Sydney. You were the one who told him to destroy my sandcastle. Flynn's eyes narrow. This isn't about your stupid fucking sandcastle. PJ crosses his arms over his stomach as if hugging himself. Sid's dead. What happened? I see TJ's legs start to shake some beneath him. I have to stop this. Flynn, enough. The Gila looks at me, his eyes a little wider. What? This isn't going anywhere. You're just you're just making it awkward. Fucking what? You're just antac I don't give a fucking shit if it makes you a little uncomfy like. You're all goddamn adults. I'm sure all of your expensive therapists told you to talk about it, so talk about it. Chase caught up with me. All eyes shift back to TJ. He kept asking where Leo was. Then he ran off. Flynn looks to me. I couldn't find him. Someone's knocking on the door. What are you doing? Jenna marches in with her phone in her grasp, seeming to ignore everyone else in the room but the Gila. Flynn grits his teeth, swearing under his breath. This absolutely better be the scene of you apologizing. Her gaze finally shifts to the rest of us. Judging by the expressions on her faces, I think she's able to quickly discern that it's not the case. You are completely out of line. Jenna, not now. TJ came here on his own volition. You're disgusting, you know that? You get pleasure out of toying with people. You always have, no matter how much it hurts them. She stands in the center of all of us, speaking in a clear, solid tone. It didn't seem to matter that she's over a foot and a half smaller than Flynn. Like I was saying, TJ came here on his own accord, and others can vouch for that. There's only so much that can be of his own accord when you've been harassing him with text messages all week. Sydney was my best friend. I'm fucking entitled to know what happened. You are entitled to nothing. Jenna retorts, quickly speaking in a tone as sharp as a knife. The room goes quiet. Jenna's glare is not wavering from Flynn, who's looking at the floor now. Finally, she speaks again. It'd be best if you just left now, Flynn. You're in my office. Your office? She lets out a quick, exasperated breath. You're a receptionist at a publicly funded city hall for a town of barely 50 people. You need to get over yourself. Leo pushes his way in past Carl, the wolf also looking at his phone. Flynn! TJ and I do our best to get out of the way. He doesn't even notice me. Flynn stands straight up. What? You know what? The wolf seems to put himself in between the Gila and TJ. I can yell. Flynn just blinks, holding up the flats of his large hands. I'm not going to hit him. Jesus shit fucking Christ. Suddenly he looks straight at Carl. I told you, it's a goddamn conspiracy. Jenna lets out a disgusted noise. Is that what you think? It couldn't possibly be your track record of manipulative, self-centered, downright mean-spirited behavior. Flynn clenches his fists. You're also fucking quick to damn me. All I want to know is the truth. I feel Flynn's arm bristle against my own. It's like what happened at the river all fucking over again. I lean closer to him, replying back, I know. The truth is that Sydney had an accident and died. And you're completely unable to accept that. You're not the only person who has lost someone. Your way of making yourself feel better is by bringing everyone else down with you. That's unacceptable. You can't let go, can you? It's a total control freak who thinks they know what's best and who deserves what. We all know you hated Sid the most. Hell, you told Carl you were glad he was dead years ago. And guess what? He told me. Carl looks down at his hooves. Jenna's about to speak again, but Flynn cuts her off. TJ, go on from where you left off. We get one week with our old friends, our family, and you ruin it, man. TJ holds himself upright. TJ holds himself tight. I, uh, 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 I need to do something. I release my hold on TJ and step forward. What? Wait, what? What? I'm a little confused about this part right here. What? Um. Huh. Uh. Miguel's jaw drops as soon as I stand beside Jenna. 
I stand beside you. Okay. I can't let you do this anymore, Flynn. I'm not just your damn toy you can use for your stupid plan. I just wanted to help you to fucking understand you for once. Remember what you said? I'll beat the shit out of him if I have to? PJ backs away some, his eyes widening. Jenna furrows her brow at Flynn, who looks a mix of befuddled and enraged. It's not happening. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit! The giant gila practically hisses. I don't think any of that shit you said about Leo is true either. At first you just kept saying he's changed and that all he does is bully people and fuck randoms. Then it's right, you just manipulate people to get what you want. You knew damn well that I was hoping that, that I wanted... I make sure to look at Leo with a sort of sorrowful, longing look. I trail off and Leo quickly steps up. Go on. I bite my tongue for a moment. Flynn seems like he's about to pop. I peer up at Leo. His blood just ran cold by the look of him. He made me think you didn't care and he actually loved me. All he wanted to do was fuck, man. He kept saying I shouldn't see you, that you were dangerous and I needed to help him plan his interrogation. He's making it all up. Didn't you just see what he, what he did? He does it all the time now. That's why I texted you guys. I didn't want TJ to get hurt. You're the one who fucking texted them? Chase. Next thing I know, Leo was bending down to scoop me up into his embrace. His muscled arms around my back. It feels good despite the circumstances and I hug him back. What the fuck, you false motherfucker? Flynn? Jenna, you have to... Just shut up. The look on her face is absolute repulsion at this whole situation. Man, it's been a long week, I mutter. I feel the wolf just shake my head. The cheek rubs firmly against mine. Fuck yeah, it has. What? No! Carl speaks up from the corner of the room. His voice is faint, but we all hear it. Dude, Flynn, Flynn wouldn't hurt dudes. Flynn wouldn't hurt TJ. I don't know why you guys think that he would. Even if he did say it, Carl's voice peters out meekly. Leo pulls back from me, and I feel a weird sense of loss. Maybe I'm just touch-starved or something. This sort of bad business sounds just like him, yeah? I knew it. I just knew he was trying to take you, Otter. Even Jenna gives Leo a bit of a sidelong glance. It was manipulating T's, that too. Tell you, Neil. Uh, I don't think this is the ending that I wanted. This is, I don't think this is the good ending for, for Flynn, at least. He yeah, adds quickly. TJ, TJ just keeps frowning, his face plastered with a blank stare. I, uh, I don't, like, pretend to understand the whole Chase Flynn thing, but almost none of that sounds like him. You think I'm some sort of femme fatale type, seducing poor fucking innocent Chase to do my bidding? Absolute balls. Did you? Did I what? Leo says nothing, able to bring the words to reality. He shakes his head, and I think I can see his fangs start to bear. Flynn throws up his arms, letting out an exasperated exhale. Yeah, Leo, I fucked him. And he moaned like a bi- Leo tosses such a fierce slug of a punch that Flynn's face looks like it vibrates in place. The yellow crumples to the ground. Leo! Leo kicks large lizard's waist as he attempts to cover himself. Flynn letting out a choked groan. Yeah, you patchy shit. Who is moaning like a bitch now, huh? Stop! Ooh. But Flynn, are you... Oof. Hey. Jesus, Leo! What? What the hell? I rubbed my eyes. Flynn is still on the floor and Leo is leering over him, fists clenched. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Oh boy, this is uh, really heating up. Anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout-out to my lovely patrons, to my Bronze Tier patrons. Thank y'all so much for everything you do. You all have definitely helped the channel and helped us grow. To our Silver Tier patron, Cade Silverman, thank you so much for going a bit above and beyond. We really appreciate everything you provide. And for our gold tier patron, Amr, thank you so, so much for just giving that little bit extra. It, it definitely goes towards helping improve our living situation here and helping recover from moving across the country twice. Tw twice in a year. That's very expensive. But yeah, y'all, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye! Thank you.